this is a craft video. If you notice, this cute little bucket hat, I made it. I got this variegated yarn and I doubled it. I made some little from the top and all around the edge. I made little macarons and then I put them together and then I started making the brim. It's my first bucket hat. I like it like this. What we're all here to talk about is my MYC, which stands for Mystery Yarn Challenge 423, April 2023. Woo woo. <laughs> and the reason I'm so excited, because it's like just the 24th and it's supposed to be ready by the 10th. I might use the leftover yarn and make something different, but I made something so cool. It's my first time ever making this. And I was so excited that I couldn't even wait and I had to do a video. Like, I put on makeup for this. <laughs> if you watched my unboxing video, you'll know that I got this beautiful person named Julie. And she is Treasures Made With Yarn. That's the name of her channel. And she's so sweet. She tried something new to figure out what color scheme that she wanted in her mystery box to send out. And she had postcards from when she was in the Air Force and she was in Germany. And she showed all the postcards, but then she faced them towards the camera and she picked one. And it was a cute picture of a coffee, like a latte. And I had the little foam with the little foam heart. And I decided that I was going to grab my inspiration from the postcard also. And so the yarns were like in the brown, neutral colors. And I was like, okay, I think I got this. I've never made a wall hanging, guys. This will be my first actual wall hanging. And it was a cup of coffee, and it was coffee, and it was browns, and I got the yarn, and I'm like so excited. Like, I want to show you, but I don't want to show you. <laughs> I'm like, I'm hyping it up, but what if I was like, oh gosh. All right, I'm hyping it up, I understand. But just please know, this is my first wall hanging. And I worked with what I got. I'm not too um, advanced in making words and pictures from yarn. I usually make like chains and stitches and it makes cute little holes, like squared holes. And then those put together, you can form words. I would do it on baby blankets or blankets for family or their children. And so the word is there and you could put like a receiving blanket and sew it up to showcase the word. But that's how I used to do it for many, many years. This is like this past year in making the sweaters, I've learned how to incorporate shapes and words. So this is my first time. Number one, wall hanging. And number two, actually doing words with yarn. So if it's not the best, please save the, the negative and, and bad comments. Please, please don't post them. Don't post them. You can think them, but just don't post them. So this is the top. And I'm going up, 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 and I'm here. <gasps> it says, I love, okay, don't mind the V, please. Don't mind the V. I love coffee. <laughs> and I use old knitting needles. I was going to grab a branch from the park, but then it's like, you got to cure it. And I don't want to give anybody bugs. And I really don't know what I'm going to do with this. But my kitchen is going to be tie-dye, pastel tie-dye. So, like, this will not go in the kitchen. I, I'm still not sure what I want to do with this, whether I want to sell it or give it to a friend. But I use old knitting needles that I received from a thrift store. And I use a hot glue gun. And I glued all the loops onto the knitting needles. And then from the back, I glued the knitting needles together for some structure. And make it nice and strong so it says I love coffee and I made a little coffee mug there and it has a little foam heart and I cut the fringes as even as I could but this is what I made for my April video <laughs> I love coffee I do love coffee some people love it way more than I do but I do love coffee 
And I was given six yarns, if you don't remember from the unboxing. I made a boo-boo, and I'm sorry, Laurie, I did not um, get, get all the yarns together in one so she could take a screenshot or me take a screenshot of all the yarns. Because I got straight to it. So this yarn right here, that's all nice and blended. That was the Yarn B yarn, the nice mixed Yarn B. And then this cream was the tweed. And then this is the taupe tweed. And then I had three more colors to deal with. So that's where you get the fringes. So all three colors are in the fringes. So the first three would be the ones. So I got this like mocha, this greenish yellow, and a gray. So sound off below if you like it, if it's interesting. I thought this idea was cool, like anybody, like especially these creative hands, she got a whole bunch of um, knitting needles. And sometimes you can find these in um, yard sales or thrift stores. And now there's an extra reason that you could use them. If you are a knitter or a crocheter, it just brings it to the ambiance of everything. And by using the glue gun, it keeps everything straight and sturdy. Great structure, right? <laughs> I love coffee. <laughs> I did this within two weeks. I worked at it slowly but surely, and I wanted to make sure you could see the words, like the C, and then trying to configure it together, and then making sure that at least it's legible. It was gonna say, but first, coffee. But, there, but first, don't, don't, don't fit here. It didn't. I tried three times, it didn't. And then my friend suggested, I love coffee. I was like, okay. I love coffee. So it was enough, but I couldn't, I wanted to do the I, the capital I with the sticks, but then it would have gotten too close to the L and it would have looked like one word instead of two. This is what I came up with after all the thinking. And this, the love part, I had to do it three times and I thought the V looked good, but when I finished it, I was like, ooh, that's the Y. <laughs> I think it's adorable. It's it's great for my first try. That's all I'm gonna say. Can't wait to see all the other videos. I am so excited. My horizons have been broadened since last year when I started watching yarn community, YouTube yarn um, thingies, YouTube yarn videos. Now watch me whip. Watch me make it. Now watch me whip, whip. Watch me make. <laughs> okay this was fun i love you all huggies huggies for all and stay tuned for more videos